to the Dharma Life Podcast. I'm your host, Aloise Surfleet Middleton, and every week I release videos that help you move from 3D to 5D, from your 3D job to your 5D soul purpose, living in alignment with your soul. My name is Aloise Surfleet Middleton. I'm the host of the Dharma Life Podcast. I'm the creator of the Dharma Life Academy. And in this episode, we are going to be talking about why letting go is your superpower. So we're going to be discussing why letting go is the number one practice that you should be doing right now, how letting go is a superpower and is actually a real strength, and why you need to stop controlling and start flowing. I'm also going to be giving you a tool which you can use, which I use all the time, and I have to be honest, at the moment I'm using it all the time because of everything that's going on you can use this tool anytime and it's just powerful and it really really helps you get into the flow of life now we have to remember that there is a flow to life that life and the divine has a absolute pure consciousness that is flowing and running through the universe and there is a divine order to everything now often as human beings, we want to control. We want to control our children. We want to control our parents. We want to control our partners. Like not in a kind of, oh my God, controlling way, but in a kind of, I wish they'd do this or I wish they'd do that. And it really annoys me when they don't do this. That in effect is controlling. And what you need to understand is right now, there is so much going on in the world, so much. You know, we're getting input and force from all different directions about what we should be doing, what we should be taking, how we should be looking after ourselves, how we should be conducting ourselves, what we should be wearing on our faces. There is so much control being eked onto society that you have two choices. You either fight or you let go. Now, I am all for humanity and people rising and for us reclaiming our sovereignty, don't get me wrong. But at the same time, it's better to build a new system than try and turn or change the current one. So the best thing that you guys can do right now is keep letting go. When somebody dictates to you what they want you to do at work, when somebody dictates to you how they want you to be at home, look at it as practice for letting go and acceptance. When we let go, we go back into the natural rhythm and flow of life. What happens is when we feel like we need to control things, we scatter our energy. Say, for example, we want a certain thing to look a certain way. We want this to happen in a certain way. And we want our kids to do this in a, in a certain way. And we want our partners to behave in a certain way. We get ourselves all bent out of shape because nothing's looking like the way we want it to look. <laughs> Why that is bad is our energy scatters. We're not centered, we're not balanced. And the real key thing that you need to practice right now is letting go and coming back into your flow. Now, remember, life will be life. The world will do what it's supposed to do. What we need to practice is being in alignment with it. And when you practice letting go, you are naturally in the flow of life. You are able to trust and surrender and you're able to really just understand that life is happening for you not to you so this i want you to be your practice this week between now and my next video i want you to let me know how you get on your homework assignment is to practice letting go when somebody tells you to do something or it upsets you or they want to do something a certain way just let go and just let them do what they want to do i promise you, you will feel so much better and also when we practice letting go, we can practice coming back to ourselves and we can stop thinking. You know, it's really key that we stop thinking because what happens is, say somebody does annoy us or frustrate us, we then to get consumed by negative thought forms. We think, oh, that person's really annoying me because they won't wear a, or they won't do a. <laughs> 
it's not up anybody else's business what other people do it's really important that you understand that you are the only person that you should look after and you are the only person that you should conduct so trying to control anybody else will never get you very far when we observe and we don't react life flows and it's much more beautiful place to be now the key thing that you can do in life is you can absolutely set a vision for where you want to go but you let go about how that comes into being if you've been in my world for a while you know I always talk about intention attention no tension so you set an intention about what you want to happen you give it attention as in you take aligned action towards it but then you have no tension you just chill and you just relax because you don't know how that's going to come into manifestation you don't know when you're going to energetically align with that so you just let go and trust that the universe has got your back you are a powerful human creator so you, by you focusing your vision, by your energy, thoughts and intention, you are already bringing that into manifestation. You don't need to hold on to it because it actually blocks the manifestation of what you're trying to bring in. Now, at the moment, as I discussed, we've got huge amounts of pressure coming from external places. So my advice to you is this week to practice letting go, whether it be a workplace, a partner, friends, family. When they say, we want you to do this, just let go. It doesn't mean you have to comply. It doesn't mean you have to be a doormat. It just means that you let go of the conversation that you would have got into. That person's this, that person's horrible, this person's that. Stop yourself when your brain and your mind wants to go into negative thoughts, when it wants to take you into a conversation about how this person shouldn't be treating you like this. Blah, blah, blah. Because all that happens is, is when you fixate and you attach to those thought forms, you will then create that reality. When you are staying centered and balanced and you're letting go and you're accepting everything outside of you, there's no resistance. There's no push pull effect. So I want you to practice and I want you to use this tool. So the tool I'm going to give you is called accept what you can't accept. Now, this makes a lot more sense when you think of yourself as an energetic being. So when you're an energetic being and say, for example, you get all bent out of shape because of everything that's happening right now. You're letting everybody frustrate you, letting everybody get annoy you. You're attaching to thought forms all over the place. You're getting annoyed. You're getting upset. You're going to do this. You're going to center yourself. You're going to put your feet on flat on the floor. You're going to ground yourself. You're going to take a big, deep breath in through your nose, out through your mouth. And you're going to put your hands on your heart. And you're going to say, I accept what I can't accept about this situation. I accept what I can't accept about this situation. And you're going to imagine in your mind's eye all of the energy that you have lost or that has been projected out of you into these situations, into these negative thoughts you're going to bring back into yourself. Just by saying, I accept what I can't accept. And this will enable you to flow with existence. Think about the analogy of a river. And you get something gets stuck or you get stuck and you're flowing down a river and you get stuck on the river on this branch, for example, and you're holding on and the river's flowing and the river's trying to push you and you're holding on for dear life. You're trying to control, you're trying to control and trying to, and then you let go. And what happens? You float down the river and you're taken with the current. And this is so true, what we need to do when we are living life. We just need to let go and trust that everything is working out for our highest case scenario. And even though there is all this crazy stuff happening out there right now, you have to trust that it is for humanity's ex highest existence. We've talked about it before, but I've said to you that, you know, the crown, corona is crown, and that is all about us rising. Everything is happening for our rising. Everything is happening for us to evolve, for us to grow. And you will evolve and grow much quicker if you're not getting bent out of shape by any little thing. So let go, let go, let, let go, let go. You're waiting at a bus stop and the bus is late, let go. You're waiting for a plane, the plane is delayed, let go. Anything where you would find yourself getting frustrated, wanting to control, wanting to get bit bent out of shape, let go. And this is how you will sync with the world. So guys, I want to know how you get on with this practice this week. Use the tool, accept what you can't accept. Keep saying to yourself, I accept what I can't accept. I accept what I can't accept. 
let me know how you get on in the comments. I want to offer something called my Made for More video series as well. We'll put the link at the bottom. We're also having a challenge soon, Reclaim Your Power. If you're somebody that knows you're made for more and you really want to take back the power in your life, come and do my free video series. It's a series of three different videos and I teach you different tools and techniques that you can utilize right now for getting unstuck. Many of us are stuck. Many of us feel frustrated. The Made for More video series will help you see where you are stuck and what is blocking you and it will also help you give you an amazing tool to create the reality you want moving forward and then we are also doing a challenge inside my community we do them every six months or so this one is all about reclaiming your power many of us are feeling powerless at the moment with what is happening out there at the moment so this challenge will take you through a process to understand exactly what is going on right now a different perspective than you may have heard and also we're going to show you how you can reclaim your power and really gain a sense of inner peace. So I look forward to seeing you next week. I love you all. Thank you so much for listening. Please do comment. It really makes a difference. And I hope that you have already subscribed and I'll see you next week. Thank you so much for listening to the Dharma Life podcast. I do hope you enjoyed this episode. Please come over and say hello on my Instagram, our Facebook group. And also, please let me know what you thought. So if you are listening, please take a screenshot of the podcast that you are listening to. Tag me on Instagram and I will reshare your post. And please let me know what it is that you got out of today's episode. Remember, when we do our dharma, we are happier, healthier, we live longer, and we have a deep sense of unshakable inner peace.